Oh, he's him. guilty until proven innocent. No, it's not. It's an investigation. Well, if you jailed him, that means he's guilty. You he you, has to be interviewed. He can't be in. You can't you can't remove somebody from the scene not in cuffs when they were armed. But how do you lock someone up who's innocent, who hasn't been proven guilty? That's my point. You but you don't know no one, all that yet. Exactly, but you but you have to take him in. But you don't know and that you, he's he guilty was, either. Lucky Boys Podcast. No body cam footage. Blank, a virtually blank incident report. Uh, well, I mean, again, it's yeah, the you don't innocent know. life loss. All of this looks like, like you know what? Yeah, it looks messed up. Like the a cover optics up. Are, the optics are bad. It looks like a cover up. Yeah, the optics are bad, but again, because they couldn't even put words to paper to justify the killing. Right. Again, like we don't know what the departmental guidelines are for having an incident. Of course, report there was prepared. a clerical error. Anything you put down is not going to be good. Well, I, I how can't, can you spin? How can you spin breaking down and killing an EMT? I, I think it's unreasonable to really break it down like that because we don't know what the guidelines are when things are due, like incident reports when they are due. I would say that they should be due immediately, but I don't know why it's blank. Like I can't explain it because I don't work for them. Like for NYPD, if you have an incident, you do it on the spot. I, the the no dot warrants are usually to gather evidence. Is that what? It, I don't know. No knock warrant. But sure they knocked anyway. Yeah, they knocked anyway, which is the weird part. And and here it's just a really weird case in general. Now they knocked, but a no knock warrant is technically supposed to give you the element of surprise, so that evidence doesn't get destroyed. Like whether it's drugs or guns. Now it's not. See, see, a lot of people think, oh well, they were just doing this for drugs. But they never described what drugs they were. So right? they never described it. Right. They, and if you're going into an apartment with drugs, there's reasonable. I think it's reasonable to expect that there might be a gun in the house because if you're doing engaged in drug trafficking or selling, chances are you're gonna have a loaded gun on you, right? How should we move forward? Should we just blow this off and go? Oh well, you know what, guys? Don't worry about it. We fucked up. We just got bad intel. She was innocent, but it was our mistake. We we didn't well, mean to kill him, but we had every right to because. They, we bust down their door. We startled them. They returned fire. He did a stand your ground. He didn't break the law. Yeah, he didn't break the law. But then uh, as, but because he was defending himself, we had to OD on force and fire several bullets into the other person who didn't have a gun. Well, I don't think they were aiming at that point. So <laughs> that's uh, another issue. So, they were, so just, they, just, they were shooting towards they were shooting what in, was... They were shooting so, in where they thought the fire was probably coming from. Right. Because... So who should be held accountable? Who do you hold should accountable? Should we just let everybody go then and say, hey, we killed someone. It's a fucked up situation. Fuck it. Let's well, not learn from this and move forward. Well, it is a fucked up situation. Someone needs to be held accountable. Well, who would you hold accountable? Are you going to hold the informant in count- accountable? Are you going to hold like the people who pass down that information to like the What do you What do you the think head? the public wants? The chain of command? With the, the public always command. wants an officer to be crucified. That's just... That's just the best way to put in this people, case. Unfortunately, in this case, would they be wrong? I think it's a very. I know that's tough for you to answer it, because you you know it's it's a conflict. This is just so it's so conflicting the whole the whole account because you have the stand your ground law in place. I mean, I don't think Kenneth Walker was expecting cops anyway. Like, yeah, he's listen. If you if someone's knocking down your door and you have your gun pointed that way. I don't think you're listening really for someone to say police or whatever anyway, because you're so you're so you have tunnel vision. And if I'm sleeping, and you're trying to protect your. If I'm home. sleeping, and you're, and you're and trying to protect, locked, yeah, and you're home. trying to protect your home yeah. and so, your girl, and, and yes, yeah, you know, you're trying to protect your, your girl, family, everything, yeah. everything. So, in that instance, when you're seeing this stuff happen in real time, your vision is like very direct. It's tunnel vision. You're, oh, you're on, just Rob. looking straight. Don't you ahead. see something fucked up here too? If it wasn't made public. I don't. I'm not sure. Well, it was only I'm not confident if it, it didn't have the the media coverage that it did. I'm not even sure if if Kenneth Walker was his name. Kenneth Walker. Kenneth, Walker, Kenneth yeah. Walker. I'm not even positive that Kenneth Walker would be out of jail. Why? Why did he go to jail in the first place? He didn't break a law. Well, he shot at an officer. Well, he, he didn't know one. it was. They were, yeah, he they didn't were know. Plain clothes. But here's the thing: you arrest and you investigate, and, they and then barged in his home. You arrest, you investigate, and if the investigation warrants a dismissal, he gets released. And that's what happened. But why was he jailed? Because he shot at an officer. At that point, you're investigating. You take, you take whoever you need to into custody while you complete the investigation. And yes, that sucks. But that's if part you're of the Kenneth process. Walker, are you doing anything different? I can't speak to his f- 
uh, frame of mind. He's obviously suing, which, you know, that's another story. No, I mean, like, I think no, no. the question was, and the incident, like... It, You're it, Kenneth it, Walker. I'm not I, talking about you suing. I'm talking about you're sleeping with your girlfriend. And, and I have to stand your ground someone, wall. I'm not in Kentucky, though. Yeah, everything, the same thing. I would probably you do the stand- same exact thing. And then on top of that... They, I don't know. So now they killed your girl, and on top of that, you're going to jail, buddy. Yeah. I mean, we, that's... We, we killed your girl. Yeah. We just took the love of your life away. And on top of that, you know what? Go to jail, motherfucker. As a civilian, I would be outraged. But as an officer and knowing how things work procedurally in an in investigation... You can't blame people for being mad at this situation. I can't blame them. I'm not blaming them. Yeah. But, I mean, this is one This is one where I think even cops got to go, man, I could see it. it. I could see it. It can go either way. I could see why the public's upset about this. It yeah, makes a I'm lot of sense. And I'm not saying that they, they like don't... Like George Floyd, I know a lot of cops go, yeah, okay. A lot of cops took the it's knee. It's clear cut. They were like, yeah, that's clear cut. <coughs> I think Breonna Taylor, also clear cut. I don't think it's as clear cut as the Floyd case, honestly. I think it's clear cut as in, like, how do you jail the guy? You have I'm not, to. I'm not talking about... I, I already elaborated on no, that. I, when, when you're in an investigation... It's not enough that you took it, this man's girlfriend? It's wrong. It ruined his life? It's wrong on a but, civilian level. But to but, have criminal charges pressed against him for defending his... He didn't know who you were. If I'm an officer, and let's say you even did shoot at me, but at this point, I, I killed your girlfriend, and I can understand you're, you're exercising stand your ground laws. At that point, I'm going... I got to empathize with you, man. I just, I got to feel like shit. I just killed an innocent life. That wasn't a criminal. They, that wasn't a drug dealer. And that person was only shooting at me because he thought that I was trying to break into his house. He didn't know I was an officer. He didn't know that 100%. I'm in my regular clothes. So how can I jail him at the end of the day? That's crazy to me. It's that's, you you're, that's crazy. That's just double downing on the evil. Okay. I, I can't justify that. I'll disagree. I can't justify that part of jailing him. I I'll, can't. I'll disagree. But the investigation and, and, was still ongoing, right? So it was like... It's ongoing. You got to figure it out like, if he's innocent or not yeah. at that point. So you have to but take to, him in. But to but, jail okay. him? I okay, let me... That's, okay. that's too much. I'll, I'll disagree with you on that. And, and like Norman said, like it's an ongoing investigation. And I, I say this as a uniformed officer. The guy just shot an off... Uh, the uh, Kenneth Walker, he just shot at an officer and injured him, right? Valid injury, everything. You can't let him go, even though it's messed up, and you might empathize with him in a situation that he just lost someone that he loved. You still have to do your job and investigate, and unfortunately, that requires you to to arrest him and interview. So he's him. guilty until proven innocent. No, it's not. It's an investigation. Well, if you jailed him, that means he's guilty. You He you, has to be interviewed. He can't be in... You can't, you can't remove somebody from the scene not in cuffs when they were armed. But how do you lock someone up who's innocent? Who hasn't been proven guilty? That's my point. You, but you don't know no one, all that yet. Exactly. But you, but you have to take him in. But you don't know and that you, he's he guilty was, either. He was armed. He fired at an officer. You have to take him in. You can't take somebody in like that without cuffs i mean i don't know what it's like in kentucky but in that instance you have to put them in cuffs because they were in possession of a a deadly weapon and when you're doing your investigation whether or not he was under arrest like i don't know yeah i think they jailed him but like he they had every reason to take him in to continue the investigation regardless of how messed up the situation and how messed up the optics may seem to us so they talked to him and then they they, talked to him and then he put him in jail still they have to because the the crime that they charged him with was assault on a police officer with a deadly weapon, I think. Mm-hmm. I don't know the exact charge because it's different across state lines, but they charged him with it. But here's the thing. In an ongoing investigation, like in that instance, you did your job. You took him in. You do the interrogation or a questioning, interview, whatever you want to call it. And then it's up to the DA, whether the district attorney, whether or not they want to prosecute indict. or whether or not they want to indict you for discharging a firearm at an officer and here's where here's where the district attorney comes into play they have to determine whether or not like he was justified in discharging his firearm to stand his ground and they chose not to indict right i don't and like he, that whole situation and he did, i think it's a you don't have to like it but that's no. how justice works unfortunately i, I that's, think you have to revamp the whole criminal justice system in order to correct that. But just because you disagree with it 
doesn't mean that it's wrong. It is wrong. It's procedurally the it thing is wrong, to do. Though. Rob, well, it is wrong. That, that's your opinion. It's a fact. We have we have because, a differing opinion on it. Because if you're Kenneth Walker, you're not going to tell me that that's right. If I was. Again, that's on the civilian side. On the uniform side, which is why I'm here to provide a different perspective. Right. And I'm not going to argue with you like because we can go round and round in circles about this. I believe that the officers did the right thing. You have to bring him in. You have to get him interviewed. Oh, my God. I cannot and disagree with you more strongly. You, I mean, you don't have to agree. Like I said, it's part of the investigation. Like, I don't think, I don't think it's really a nice thing to do, obviously, as a human being, to bring in someone that just lost a loved one. But he also fired at an officer. And regardless of whether or not it was stand your ground, you have to bring him in for the investigation. Like, I, I think when people think about how messed up it is, they get emotionally worked up about it. And the thing is, you have to distance your emotion and look at the facts. When you look at the facts, you have to say... When you look at the facts, it does not look good for the cops. Well, how does it not look good, though? Because they didn't have body cam footage? They didn't have body cam footage? Well, again, like fact, we haven't verified virtually that. The, 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 I dabble in no, facts. No, in the, it's, I'm oh, not let's speculating. Start with it, but, but, but what we read, but, actually, they do have body cam footage. The officers that really, responded... Right, the, respond, the, the responding they officers. Didn't, they never broke, broke down who had the body cams. That it could be, yeah. They never broke that down. Right, right. So it's not confirmed if the plain clothes had the body cams or the responding officers that came afterwards or whatnot. Okay. And then, so let's go with facts. Let's go with what we know. Body cam footage right now. At the end of the day, no matter what you say, there's, there's none right now being shared. Right. That's one. That's Two, virtually blank incident report. Okay, let's okay? let's go. We already discussed so that's this. Two. Like, oh, we did. So we did but, discuss but, this but, but, So we did. But we're going. We're just going by facts, all right? Well, I'm not discussing the facts. Well, we already crossed that let's bridge. Let's break it down one at so, a time. Let's so break then, it down one at a time. Hold like, on, hold on, hold on. Your body cam. The, the, hold on, Rob. Let's go. Let's the go with third, the body cam first. The third. The third. We thing, addressed that. But we already addressed that. The okay. third. Uh, you said let's go by facts. So I'm just listing facts. I don't want to get okay. deterred by that. So those two things. So then you got the third thing. You 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 know that you had bad intel. That what this person you thought had something was not. That wasn't it. How do, how do you know you have bad intel until you get into that apartment to verify that there weren't drugs in there? So what, you're supposed to kill everybody like that? You're supposed to be... You, you return you, fire when you're fired upon. But then... We've established that but, deadly but force because, can be met with deadly force. Right. But then they're the one that instigated the deadly force to begin with. You're, you said it yourself. If you were Kenneth Walker, you wouldn't, you wouldn't have done anything different. Like if I said... If someone's busting the hinges of your door, you're shooting at like them. Like I said, that's only from a civilian perspective. If I...